Okay, hi. So we've just done a, an online concept design workshop. Um, guys, do you want to just introduce yourselves? Yeah, I'm Anna. I'm Mark. And what sort of property have you got? Um, a 1930s semi detached. Um, and what sort of area? You don't have to give the exact road and street name. <laughs> um, it's uh, Stockport. So, um, yeah. Cool. Right. Um, so, what's your problem at the moment? Um, I guess it's it's space. Um, we we just need more space. So we're looking at various options as to how we can yeah. make this house work for us. Um, but. <laughs> Sorry, excuse the children in the background. Um, make it work for us. Obviously, we, we don't want to move area. We're happy with the schooling and everything. So it's how we can utilise this house to, to be a, a proper working function. <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> yes, case, case in point. So um, what were we looking at today? Um, today we were looking at um, a kitchen extension. Yeah. Um, we're also looking at doing a, um, a, a potential office space in the garden. Yeah. Well. Um, and then potentially refiguring, reconfiguring upstairs to extend the bedroom to make it into a double bedroom, which is currently a, a single bedroom. Okay, I'm just going to show my drawing down here. So this is the existing ground floor. So it has, it's already been extended, hasn't it? It has, yeah. And you've got Velux is along here, front bits, toilets, kitchens over here. And so the first thing that we wanted to do was look at something over here. Well, actually, we're looking at different designs for the garden room. So let's start there. So this is um, the second garden room design that we've done. Uh, so we've pulled it half a metre off the boundary so we don't have to annoy the neighbours. Uh, we've come in four metres from the back. You've kind of established that's where you want to go. We're looking at a traditional construction, yep. so a brick built thing, part um, storage, for, part yeah. storage, and then part kind of room with kind of a loo. So we had a couple of ideas. This was the first idea, loo at the back, a little kind of storage thing here and I've just marked out space for a sofa bed yeah, yeah. so it's useful to see that this was the first idea for the um for the kitchen extension so coming out here do you remember I marked on the uh the triangle <laughs> do you remember what I said <laughs> said we'd smash our steps every day yes <laughs> we said the optimum for for your Fridge, oven, and dishwasher and sink is six meters and perimeter. So that was eight meters. Uh, and then we're, we're coming into the laundry room over here. Yep. And do you remember, I kind of mentioned the further you are away from the stairs, the more likely you are to drop washing <laughs> everywhere. And then Downstairs bathroom, and again, I'm just saying that I've seen quite a lot of downstairs showers that have been used as very expensive storage. Mm -hmm. So just watch out for that. Um, and we've just looked at a whole series of options, haven't we? So this is the ex existing first floor layout. So it's three bedrooms and a bathroom, and you were looking at evening up the bedrooms. So in no particular order, Oops. What was this? This was our option number four. Do you remember what this one was about? So we've, we've extended out over the existing lower extension to yeah. make it a double bedroom. Um, and then we've also of course, managed to get in a, um, another family bathroom. Uh, we'll move the family bathroom, should I say. And then also got a smaller bathroom is there as well. And the, the big thing about this is you gain a bedroom. Absolutely. Study stroke dressing room or whatever you want it to be um and really we've kind of i won't go through all the variations but we've we've looked what what have you kind of learned from today <laughs> she says very patronizingly yeah, I think into this with what we thought 
our ideals were and actually it's really opened our eyes is what actually more can be done to mm -hmm. make better um and it's given us a lot of things to think about definitely yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> out the window and actually it's it's given us a different perspective which is exactly yeah. what we wanted yeah. at the end of yeah. the day so I just want you to think about, you've got a month now to kind of think about it properly. You've got a series of options from small changes to big changes. Um, and then <laughs> it's that cat or child. Child. Yeah, I'll just go and see what's going on. Okay, all right. So, uh, yep, yeah, brilliant. So I will see you in a month's time. No, really good. Watch yeah. this space. Yeah. All right, Brill, thanks very much. Thank